Good morning, YouTube. So today's video actually has set up to go over some uh, some reviews. You know, I had bought some stuff on Amazon, but as I was preparing to do that, I started to use my phone. I noticed it started boot looping, and I was going to just go ahead and go about you know doing my normal routine to fix it. But I thought this may be a good opportunity to use it as a kind of a tutorial, if I may say, just in case some of you have a similar issue now again i hope you'll see on my pixel uh 4xl as soon as i unlock it now what is a boot loop so basically a boot loop is this when you go to try to start your phone and you notice it it goes right back to the boot screen and you're going to see that it boots up and after it boot up the watch as i unlock it it does this again and it's frustrating you're like there's nothing you feel like you can do and you know it just drain your battery you can't use your phone now i do have a backup phone my pixel 3 xl but you know there are some people who do not have that option or you know you want to use your phone so let me go through what i'm gonna do right now to get through it so the first thing first i've already tried to go into the um to the recovery screen and by the way i'm gonna try to do this with just a phone hopefully i'm able to do that with just my phone and not uh, having to break out a computer and go into like a terminal and do anything like that. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to do a factory reset. Because a lot of times to fix a boot loop, it could be an app that you installed or something is it, just not going right. Um, and we're going to do that first. So to get into recovery mode, what you're going to really want to do. Now, if your phone keep boot looping my, while mine is doing that, like kind of like now. Um, you're not going to even get a chance to be able to power it down. So um, the next time it boot loops, what you want to do is hold the power and the volume down button at the same time. So I'm going to let it boot loop, and then I'm going to go ahead and start holding it. So give it a second. And it's going to, if I've done it right, it should go into, all right, the boot screen. Uh, the bootloader. So from here, this is where if you have something like a um, another computer, you can use a terminal to use terminal commands. But I want to do this for again for people who may not have another computer to do this, or just so other people can see what to do. Now that you are here, you're going to use your volume keys to scroll up and down. What we want to do, we want to get into recovery mode. So recovery mode. Um, you go volume down. You're going to see it goes to power off. You do it again. You're going to see barcode. You're going to basically see everything. Even this has like a rescue mode. You don't want that. This is what we want, recovery mode. So once you do that, hit the power. Now, this next step is kind of the one thing that does, um, takes time to frustrate. And I can say frustrate, but it can be. You're going to get to this screen right here. And to actually get into recovery mode, you got to like toggle. Now I Google this. Just, someone said just keep toggling the volume button. But every time I do I do that, you know, you'll see me doing it right now. I get nothing, right? So, and by the way, if you get stuck here for a long time, it'll automatically get out of it for you. So it's not like you'll be stuck here forever. Now, what I found had worked. It like I got the whole power and volume up. And to be fair, I got this from I just Google uh, how to get the Pixel 4 XL recovery mode, and I'll actually link that below. But this is the menu we want to get to. And what we want to do, we want to go to Wipe Data Factory Reset. Now, this will wipe your phone of everything. It's going to be like starting your phone all over from out of the box. But we need to do this because whatever is causing the boot loop, uh, if it's software related, you're going to have to want to, you're going to want to basically reinstall your apps anyway and see which app is causing it. So let's go ahead and hit that. Now, to select, you're going to use your power button. So let's go ahead and do that. And he's going to tell you it cannot be undone. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And it's a matter of us just waiting for it to wipe the data and format. So um, we'll find out if this actually fixed my phone. So give me a second. We're going to go through this process together. And as you see, it's done. So now what I like to do. It don't tell you to do this, but I actually like to go ahead and do it twice. So let's go ahead and go to 
wipe data factory reset factory data reset now if you do a factory data reset and you wipe your phone you go to basically reinstall all your apps or you go to reboot which I'm about to do right now and you're still boot looping then it's obviously um, likely a hardware issue you know it's no longer something I believe is software related now we'll see if this fixes my phone I think we're gonna find out literally together so just give it a second let's see what happens so we got the white screen so that's the sort of looking a little bit better um, now to be fair I actually had it into a dark theme so the reason why I switched to a white theme because out of the box when you do a factory it's basically when you do a factory reset it's going to return it to out of the box configuration or out of the box configuration for uh, the latest software that you want and that's what we're at alright so now we got the uh, start menu so let's go ahead and log in and see what happens basically starting to get my phone ready um, now one of the good things though uh, I will say that Google has improved over years is that um, you can basically restore your phone through basically where you're at when you do a factory reset. Factory resets back I want to say even five, six, seven years ago were like you literally starting all over <laughs> unless you're someone who was in the rooted community and you're not know get around that but now when you take a phone out of the box once you put in your passcodes it will restore all your apps a lot of your data now in this case because of the simple fact that I did have a problem with my phone what I want to do um, I may actually want to look at what apps I put back um, in my phone so give me a second uh, it asked me like I said out of the box do you want to use your old phone well I can't use my old phone because well we're rebooting the phone right now so what we're going to, have to do is just sign in to my account and I'm going to do that now so, all right, it's going to ask me some more information. Yes, I'm in. I agree. And I do have some other accounts. Um, I actually use my phone with multiple accounts. So it asks me, do you want to add more accounts, which I will. Now, here it's going to give me two uh, phones I can back up from. Um, now, if you're concerned that something in the app maybe calls it like I am, so this is what I'm going to do, and I'm going to show you what I'm doing right now. Um, I'm going to go ahead and say Pixel 4 XL. Uh, six, you know, last time it unlocked. And let me go ahead and do something real quick. It's going to ask you your old pin, which I had to put in. Now, it's going to give you an option to choose all your apps and all the stuff you want to uh, add. This is where I'm going to actually want to go in there and go to all apps. And look at the last app I installed. Because the last app you may have installed could be what's causing it. So let me go through and just look at all my apps. And this is also a good time to clean up your phone. You know, um, if there are some apps that you know you haven't been using <laughs> in a while. Like for me, I've not been using this app right here. So I'm going to go ahead and uncheck that. Here it is. DC Universe Infinite Verse. That is the last thing that I saw updated and that was automatically updated so I'm gonna go ahead and uncheck that as well because again I do not want that app um, reinstalling because that could very well be the problem so once you uncheck all apps that you're not using the ones that you think that could be a potential problem then we can go ahead and continue on so I'm going to say okay restore uh, let me see if there's anything else now like I said this is where like Google have improved a lot your contacts your SMS's Wild fans, all this uh, information that you used to lose when you reinstalled that, um, or when you just bought a new phone or you had to do a factory reset, this is no longer a case. So let's go ahead and restore. And this is going to take a few minutes. So basically, you sit your phone down about five or ten minutes. Um, and this is uh, definitely would be a good time to go ahead and plug it in, you know, and just leave it be. So, as you see right now, everything's kind of booting up. Let me go ahead and put my new pin in there. All right, face unlock is done. Agree. Continue. Agree. 
So I'm just going to continue on going through my regular setup process that you all normally would do when you set up a phone. And now, this feature, I don't really care too much for. It doesn't work too well for me. Um, let's see. So I got everything on I want. So let's see. Is there anything else I need? I do like the identify music, so I'm going to turn that on. Control info. We already reviewed the apps that we're installing. And this would be a good time to go, for me to go ahead and add my other account. So let me go ahead and add my backup Google account. Store. All right, I got one more Google account I need to do. Now, once you install all of your accounts, if you got any exchange accounts, you can do that now. I'm done. I can say not now. Done for now. And then it'll finish doing the installing of the apps. So, so far looking good. I uh, have not had another reboot yet. But like I said, again, we're going to have to let it install some apps. And see what happens. So I'm going to stop this uh, video right now. And we will come back and let you know how we did. Alright guys. Looks like my phone is back working. I want to make sure no personal information out. As you can see, I can move about it. No reboots. Everything's working fine. Pretty much signed in to a lot of my apps already. I uh, got a couple more. I'm pretty sure I'm going to sign in to some that I recognize uh, once I go to try to use it. Like, uh, matter of fact, I still need to do my pay apps. But most of my apps are signed into. Everything's looking good. So, yeah, that actually solved my problem. So, if you guys run into an issue where your phone just start uh, rebooting like that, you know, try to do a factory reset if um, you're not able to get around anything else. And hopefully the factory reset works for you. Um, yeah, you know, leave a comment below on if you have any other issues. Maybe I can help you out with, and I'll leave some of the notes and information I found that was helpful for me. And I'll leave it below. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.